What were you doing over there, Michael? Uh, <laughs> 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 Mom always said, don't Nothing. eat with your mouth full. <laughs> he, he made a beeline over there. Like, yes, I want you to eat alone. Oh, well, I appreciate that. <laughs> don't appreciate, you're such a good friend. Mike. All right, we're back now with one match, second chance. When I had MBS 10 years ago, my sister Sally Ann was a perfect match for my bone marrow transplant. But not everyone is as fortunate to find a 100 percent match, but medical advances have made it possible to thrive even when those perfect matches are elusive. You're going to meet a young woman who is still searching for hers, but as she waits, nothing will stop her from living life to its fullest. For 32-year-old Elise Smith, life has been defined by limits, Good. but that doesn't stop her from dreaming of becoming limitless. I'm pushing my body beyond normal means. It's still difficult to navigate from time to time because I have this insatiable appetite for life. At 18 years old, Elise was first diagnosed with thyroid cancer. It would take nearly two years of treatment, including radiation, until she reached remission. You do kind of have this, like, in the back of your head, what if, and uh, I think I worked really hard for about 10 years to just ignore that because it's not productive. And so that's what I did. <laughs> Elise pursuing a career as an accomplished pastry chef until another bump in the road at age 29. Elise experiencing extreme fatigue and illness. They were able to determine that I had MDS. MDS, or myelodysplastic syndrome, a group of rare bone marrow failure disorders, a stem cell transplant is considered the only potential cure. For patients with certain types of blood cancers, we're always looking for that best donor. 70% of patients will not have a fully matched family donor and need to turn to registries like Be The Match for their best chance of finding their cure. But emerging treatment options provide hope for Elise. Her brother David is a 50% match. With these new advances, we now have a type of transplant called a haplo stem cell transplant where we can use a donor who's only a 50% match. This has allowed the donor pool to expand and allow people from specific ethnic backgrounds that are not as well represented in our donor registry to have that potential for a cure for a transplant. Because of the potential risk of a stem cell transplant, Elise receives weekly blood transfusions to keep her stable we've decided is that we're not going to spend our time running from uh, cancer. We spend our time trying to celebrate the time that we spend together. I am somebody who is going to stand by her and lift her up as all of her dreams come true, and they will. Gorgeous. Her passion for baking, capturing the attention of Joanna Gaines. She slid in my DMs. She was like, I'd love to bake with you. And I was in disbelief. That's a 10. <gasps> Yay! Miss <laughs> Joanna Gaines so likes good. my cake. Elise, now host of the online workshop, Bake From Scratch Cakes. Let's get into it. And finding joy beyond the diagnosis. As physically exhausted as I am every single day, it nourishes my spirit, and I don't see myself giving that up anytime soon. We don't see her giving that mm -hmm. up anytime soon either. And while Elisa's brother, with a 50% match, is a possible donor right now, research shows that a full match is still the best chance for a cure. So Elise keeps on advocating for people to sign up for the Be The Match registry to help her and others find that perfect match. And you can help by scanning the QR code on your screen to go to Be The Match website. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.